There is no sign on the building, no staff inside, and Pennsylvania taxpayers are paying the rent. A satellite office leased by State Representative Darrell Metcalf is raising questions. Good evening and thank you for watching KDK News at 6. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Megan Schiller. Metcalf's opponent is now accusing him of wasting public funds. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan is in Mars tonight digging deeper into the expense reports. Andy? Well, the Johnston House plays host to wedding receptions and bridal showers, but there's also a district office for Representative Metcalf, though few people know it's here. There are no signs indicating it, and it's not listed on his state website. But in the basement of this tea house is an office leased by State Representative Daryl Metcalf, for which taxpayers pay $475 a month. So this is his office? Yes. Yeah. It's just a door. The door is locked. No staff is here, and landlord John Johnston says he's only seen them on occasion. You know, what my tenants do, as long as they're good tenants, pay on time, don't cause issues, that's... What I'm looking at. But over the past three and a half years, these state expense records show that Pennsylvania taxpayers have shelled out $20,900 to rent the space. There's no sign, there's no type of advertisement, there's no listing on phone books, there's nothing else that show that this office is in use. Dan Smith, Metcalf's Democratic challenger, who obtained the expense reports through a right to know request, calls the expenditure a waste of public funds which flies in the face of Metcalf's public persona as a fiscal conservative. I just don't understand. And if you're protecting the taxpayer, why are we doing this? It's lies, all lies. Reached last night by reporter Jim Barrasso, Metcalf defended the renting of the office, saying although it is not staffed, he's used it for legislative duties and storage space after closing another satellite office years ago. We don't have signage or we don't have anybody staffing that office to save costs, but we did need the extra space, which we use that office for. We have a phone there, a computer. Um, over the years, we've had both of those there. Representative Metcalf does maintain an office here in the Cranberry Township Municipal Building. As you can see, it is clearly marked, and there is a full-time staff inside to handle constituent services. Taxpayers pay $921 a month for this space, and Smith questions why Metcalf doesn't just store the phone and computer here. If he was really, truly fiscally conservative, he would have done the right thing and put our tax dollars back in our community by doing it at the municipal building as well. Now, in our interview with the representative, he said that there isn't enough space in the Cranberry office and that this office is used and needed. But the lease does expire on November 20th, and Representative Metcalf says he will not be renewing it. Reporting live in Mars, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.